welcome back to my channel. I am Shreeshtha and after so much of difficulty, I finally found a place where the natural light is okay. I always shoot with natural light and as the winters are approaching, it's getting more and more harder to find, you know, the natural light and to shoot videos um, because it's always um, cloudy and rainy and what not before i lose this natural light and clouds come up and the rain starts let's just get started with the video so in today's video we are going to organize a closet we will also incorporate some of the tips used in the konmari method so new year is around and nothing can be better to start with an organized environment it gives you the illusion that you have everything under the control and you have an organized life so let's get started step one take all of your clothes out from the closet and keep at one place so that you can see everything at one place everything that you own this is because unless and until you see everything you own you won't know how much you actually own so i know it has happened with so many of us that we don't realize so many clothes we have because it's somewhere inside the cupboard or in the deepest corners so it's a good step when you can get everything out at one place step two clean your closet and give it a wipe Step three, declutter your clothes. Go through each and every cloth of yours and ask the magical question. Does it spark joy? If yes, you keep it. If no, you discard it. You can always add some of the guiding questions. If you would like to know more about Kanmari method and decluttering clothes with me, please check out this playlist here. You will have everything in that playlist from me decluttering through all categories and what is called Mari method in general. I have a video on that as well. So please check it out after you're done with this video. I've kept aside the clothes I do not wish to keep. Donate them. It's winter season. Many people will benefit from your clothes. So just donate them. Step number four. So here I'm going to use some of the items which will help me organize my closet in a better manner. Firstly, I bought these S-shaped multi-layered hangers. It helps to hang more than five trousers and it is quiet, you know, uh, space saving. Two, we're going to use these multi-purpose storage baskets as well to store our clothes in the vertical system. Again, if you don't know what the vertical system is, please check out my video here where I have decluttered my clothes the Konmari way. So one of the suggestions in Konmari method is to store all your clothes in a vertical system. What it does is not only it saves space, but you can see all your clothes at just one glance. So it's really helpful. Please give it a try. Also, I will try to find, you know, the links to the same product or at least the similar products and put it in the description box below for your convenience. If you want to buy any of them, please go ahead and use the links given in the description box below. Third, hang all your jackets and heavy coats at one side. One of the suggestions which Mary Kondo gives is um, you have to organize your clothes in such a way that they rise to the right. I tried it, but because uh, it's a sliding kind of a closet, it was giving some issue if I was uh, hanging my heavy clothes and overcoats at the left side. So, but you can really try and make your clothes go as if they are rising to the right um the whole point is that it, it makes you feel that everything going in the you know right direction in a positive direction so you can give it a try and then comment below and let me know um if you feel that way or not so far the closet looks like this i have hanged all the heavy uh, coats and jackets on one side and like i said this s shaped hanger is so useful I've also used this 16 pocket clear hanging bag to uh, store all the ties and handkerchiefs. It's really useful. It segregates everything well and saves a lot of space. Another tip I have from the KonMari method is that remove all the labels and the packaging. Um, if you have any new clothes, because if you keep them in the same state like you bought from a store, it just doesn't feel yours, she says. So just remove all the labels and packaging um, and you must have you know experienced as well as soon as you get the tags 
um, away, you cut the tags away, it just feels it's yours. So the feeling of belonging comes when you remove all the packaging. So do that if you have any new clothes in your closet. So I usually use these storage baskets to store in a wear and socks and it's quite easy to just, you know, have everything in one place uh, so that when you are in some hurry, you can just get it out from one place. Also to use the vertical system, I have used this basket here. I have used it to store like heavy jumpers and sweaters and this is the final look of the closet it looks so more organized and clean and everything has its own place and when everything has its own place trust me the chances of it getting all messy are less so do give it a try and let me know in the comment box below if it worked for you or not so i hope you like this video if yes please do not forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can be updated with all my latest videos until then meet me in my next video bye bye take care